Now, Chancellor Angela Merkel wants a separate communications network for Europe to prevent spying from across the Atlantic. Under the current setup, a huge volume of Internet data circulates um, along the same routes, often via the United States. So a message sent from one European official to another just next door potentially has a very long journey before reaching its destination, passing through many points like a pinball machine. But the new idea would allow communications to bypass the established routes and offer European web users better protection. Lucy Kafanoff reports. Now, it's not a separate internet, so to speak, but more of a way to prevent emails and other data from being harvested by U.S. intelligence agencies. Now, um, this is just an idea at this point, and it is one that Angela Merkel will certainly be discussing with the French president when they meet in France on Wednesday. Merkel said uh, also this weekend that she basically disapproved of companies like Google and Facebook basing their operations in countries with low levels of data protection while being active in countries such as Germany where data protection is quite high. This has been a very sensitive issue here in Germany. Ms. Merkel has faced sharp criticism in the wake of the NSA spy scandal for basically failing to take decisive action, according to her critics, to protect German users from surveillance of Internet and telecommunications traffic that's alleged to have been conducted by U.S. and British intelligence services. It's also, of course, a personal issue for her to some extent. Remember that Ms. Merkel's uh, cell phone was reportedly monitored. But this idea of... Uh, uh, online traffic effectively bypassing the United States isn't unique to Europe. In fact, Brazil, along with several international partners, is also currently in the process of trying to build uh, an undersea fiber optics communications cable that would do just that. It would basically reroute its online traffic directly to Europe, skipping essentially the, the U.S. Uh, and it's more than just an idea. It's a $185 million project uh, construction on which is slated to begin in July.